Hey guys, what's going on? It's FTJ Gaming making a quick video. I did figure some more stuff out. Uh, I just want to start by thanking everyone that commented because uh, when I first solved it, I was like, yeah, maybe this, you know, it's an escape plan. But I did a little bit more digging and did find uh, a big finding <laughs> or discovery with the number 56. And I'll show you what I did. This is just speculation. This is just stuff that I'm putting out there. I'm not saying if I'm right or wrong, but if you'll see, um, or you'll see how convincing it could be that everybody, not everyone, but some people were right that there was some extra meaning behind it. Some people, sorry, that's my phone. That happened yesterday too. As soon as I start uh, recording, my phone starts going off. Uh, but I'll show you what I found. Uh, you may not, may or may not. Um, agree with it but as you see the ticket 56 people are like I thought it was just an escape plan maybe I didn't think much more of it but I did do some digging so I'll show you what I found first thing I did was Google and Wikipedia the number 56 what kind of got me going in the you know in this direction was down here in Cosmo Ghani, Cosmogony, I guess. Um, it says, according to Aristotle, 56 is the number layers of the universe, Earth, uh, plus Chris 55 crystalline spheres above it. Sorry if I'm tripping over my words, because again, my hands are like shaking, my heart's racing like a mile a minute, because I'm like, wow, I think I figured out some more stuff. Uh, so that's where I, I kind of started. I looked at, I searched, uh, and this is going for about a day or two till I kind of had time to really dig into it a little bit more so I, I searched like that word cosmogony I guess you can say uh, I searched uh, Aristotle search 56 did a couple things but not until now Saturday at about two o'clock I found some big 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 uh, developments so I did Aristotle universe 56 layers did a couple of things uh, clicked on a couple of these the one that I ended up clicking on uh, the, is the celestial spares and I'll read you what I discovered that um, might be and this is the website um, crystal links so this is what I kind of figured out and it all makes sense could be a huge coincidence uh, and I'm not trying to pluck stuff out of here uh, just to make it you know jive or whatever but um, of course, I should have got this ready. Uh, so hopefully, okay. So uh, in metaphysics, Aristotle adopted a celestial physics of geo geocentric rotating, uh, all that stuff. I'm not gonna keep going. I'm gonna go to the part. So it says it's um, the uh, spherical Earth is at the center of the universe, and the planets are attached to anywhere from 47 to 55 uh, concentric spheres that rotate around the earth uh, and here's the part that you know got me Aristotle consider considers that these spheres are made of an unchanging fifth element the ether and each of these concentric spheres is moved by a god an unchanging divine mover Aristotle says that to determine the exact number of spheres the number of divine movers one should consult the astronomers uh, and that's where I kind of left it at I actually probably should read a little bit more before I put this video but uh, people did comment saying there might be more to it and I think this might explain a little bit more um, I'll kind of leave it at here I probably should have read a little bit more uh, I'll comment in this video if I read anything at the bottom I just as soon as I saw that I'm like that has to make a lot of sense um, I mean, I'm scrolling down at the bottom real quick, see if I can eyeball anything, because I literally just stopped and uh, decided to make this video. Um, planet embedded, a cycle. Um, uh, I'll read a little bit more, I'll comment, or you can check out the link. Um, but. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Let me know what you think if this is anything. Alright.